Welcome back to Bulletproof Mindset, Scotland's number one health, fitness and entertainment podcast. So today's episode, we're talking about what makes a good gym and how to choose the best gym for you. That's after about a 25 minute chit chat where we're talking about the P. Diddy scandal that's going on just now, what's happening with him. And then we also bring up the Drake and Josh conspiracy theory. Is that what you call it? Is that cons- no, it's no, not, I don't it's think it's a cons- full theory. <laughs> it's it's a full, full theory. blown theory. Before we go any further, if you are loving these episodes, leave us a little five star review. It would help us majorly and improve the podcast. And if you are new, we release podcasts every Monday and Thursday at 6 a.m. So keep on track for that. And apart from that, enjoy today's episode. Right. What were you saying about Drake and Josh? Have you not seen it? No. So I thought I thought Josh or Drake. What one's the TikTok guy now? That's Josh. Josh. Did he not come out that he was being a bit pervy and sexualising oh, women? Or not? Oh, was that Drake? Right, right. He was talking to a lassie, but they, but they never went any further. Right, okay. And it came out she'd lied about her age. Right, right. But he'd met her at a show, mm-hmm. but she was like, I'm like fucking X, Y, and Z. And he was like, oh, I'll chat to her. And then he found that she was like 15 or something, and he, pa- he stopped it. Ah, right. So he got, he got a lot away with it, because it, it wasn't he actually. A lot away with it. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't yeah. his fault. I know, no, 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 no. What's your opinion on birds who lie about their age to get into clubs? It's really, really bad, mate. That's dangerous this That's day. Scary. See, with makeup and fucking, like, younger girls are looking uh, older and older. Do you know what? It's when somebody goes, like, when you see, like, like a TikTok or something, and it's like the person's 20, you're like, you look older than me. <laughs> no, the the actual look at about ten. No, it's worse than that. Like, see, when TikTok was rife through COVID, I don't, I don't think I even see it nowadays because obviously your algorithm gets better. Mm-hmm. Um, but at the start of TikTok, it was just we boys and we lasses, and I was like, this app's fucking for for wins. I absolutely. I trippy. remember it was for wins. That's when everybody was like, okay, you're an old guy. What are you doing on TikTok? TikTok. It's a wee bit pervy. <laughs> um, but then it obviously evolved to where it is now. Yeah. I remember seeing something. Where I was like, why are people on this? That person isn't they? Why are they in a school uniform? They look old. <laughs> were they? I like just how they looked, like how they were dressing themselves. Right, right. Like, right. We boys are we boys at the end of the day. It's hard for a wee guy to look older. It is. It is. There's always that one cunt in your year of high school that had like a full beard. Aye. <laughs> you laugh. Last year. Aye. Pubes all grown out and everything. You're like, you sure you're, you're like, you've I'm been held back a few years? Just got to know she's pregnant. <laughs> what, mate, what? It's first year, man. It's, what are you doing? Who did, was MD that got pregnant in high school? Um, I don't actually remember. I actually, don't think there was. I don't think there was in mine either. Like no in my year, no in my I, in our years. I, I think when people left school in fourth year, it then happened. But surprising that it doesn't happen first to fourth year. I there's like the odd one, and but they end up having like three, <laughs> didn't they? Aye, on that council tax. Aye, they're already there. Yeah, you know fine well what you're doing. Ah, uh, yeah, dirty bastard. <laughs> right, so what happened with? Drake, Josh, right. both of them. So I actually can't believe, and it's actually, I can't believe you don't know this. Is it both of them? No, so it's Drake. Right. So Drake was, in the show, he was the mere handsome one, Josh was the fatter one. Oh, I've got them mixed a bit. Right, Because no, he's went to a mad weight. Joy, Josh, Josh has yeah. lost all the weight and all that, but I think they both got like pure, I think like MD who's in that space, like if you're that young and you're that famous, it gets their heat a wee bit. Like, you can't be a normal person. No, you're a celebrity. So, <clears throat> it came out that the one of the guys who was, I don't know if he was a sister, I think he was a voice coach or something on Drake and Josh. Right. Was uh, molesting Drake. Mm. And Drake was 15. and he, So, that his name's Brian Peck. He stayed closer to the set than Drake's mum. Right. So, he would just stay at Brian's house. So Brian was 40 and Drake was 15. It's quite sad, isn't it? Ah, it's, it's a bit like... Like Disney, Nickelodeon. Have you seen the stuff about... Uh, is it Nickelodeon? What's that producer? Dan Schneider. Aye, da- have you seen aye, that? Aye. His feet fetish and all that. Aye. Like, I couldn't believe that. Aye, so like you, go on, you go on the scenes and you're like, why do they have their feet out? I know. Like, why do the kids have their feet out? And then what they was making them all re- recreate and doing all that sort aye. of stuff. I was like... What is this? Jail him. Aye. Why is he not jailed in it? No, that's what, so that's, <coughs> it's, it's all the same circle. From this, right? It's all the same circle. So it's all coming out, like, there'll be mayor. Um, but it just, you, you look at, you like, I used to love these shows. I know. And now they're all ruined. Aye. Because you know exactly what was happening, like, behind the scenes. So that guy gets 16 months in prison. Mm-hmm. And then he got out and got a job on Sweet Life, Sweet Life of Zach and Cody. 
back in the day. Mm-hmm. Oh, so this, he, he got prosecuted back in the day? I got prosecuted for something. I don't know if it was for that, but he got prosecuted for something against a child. Fuck me. And then he got out and got a voice sh- voice uh, voice job on the Sweet Life and Zachy Cody. What the fuck? So I guess that's one thing about social media and the age of the internet. Like news can travel so fast now. Mm-hmm. Whereas I guess back in the day you can kind of sweep it under the carpet. Mm-hmm. You know, look at all the Jimmy Savile stuff. Like you bet you thought never gonna catch me. You just wonder how did they get away with that? Like, see if you knew somebody who was like. Like now it, now if you know I'm being a bit of a dick, you'd be like, what are you being a dick for? Never mind taking it to that level. <laughs> right? Not like, I don't know if I would say that's being a bit of a dick. I mean, that's no, just no, no. A... But I mean, like, if I'm being a bit of a dick, like, just in general, right. you'd be like, you're being a bit of a dick. Mm. Never mind if you're taking it to the level where you're fucking pedo. Mm. You'd be like, <laughs> fucking jail him. I mean, there's ranges, mate. No, no, <laughs> that's, no, a, no. that's a big what, step. What, what you've got is... dickhead and then you've got <sighs> pedo right above it. And you're calling something out for being a dick, you're going to call, you're going to fucking get them done for being a pedo. Uh, but at the same time, I think when it's done from such a young age, like you're, I don't know, I guess you're conditioned or you, you probably think you're the weirdo. You don't want to bring it out in case people don't believe you and all uh, that sort yeah, of stuff. So no, 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 can I imagine no, like I get that. fucking I get fucked. that. So then you've got the whole P. Diddy stuff. I know. What have you seen much about it then? Do you know I, much I've about seen it? Seen bits and so Homeland. So I actually kicked did, his door down. I arm actually raid. didn't know that P Diddy was Puff Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Which he was no, two I, fucking different guys. No, because when I seen uh, P Diddy used to be called Puff Daddy, I'm like, that makes sense. Who did you think Puff Daddy what was? A weird name, Puff Daddy, is mate. <laughs> you know, I think that's a fucking creepy name anyway. Puff Daddy. Puff Daddy. <laughs> it, was the, it was the rap names back in the day. No. I can't kind of believe you didn't put <clears throat> Who did you think Do you think these were Two different people Aye aye you, So you had at least heard The Puff Daddy Aye I'd heard the Puff Daddy Aye, aye, aye. He, His songs are alright But T, P Diddy's songs are Shite. better <laughs> <laughs> Hey I know mate It's fucked up aye, It's so fucked up have you, have you seen the Conspiracy theories Around the homeland Raiding it and that So do you know much About it at all So I seen that They raided these house Found guns and all that But I don't think They found much else Did they No so Here's here's what it is So like they, He used to throw <laughs> Well, parties and then he's getting accusations like from t- tons of like tons of music artists like, just all different celebrities with these well parties that he used to have and then it's all coming out like with previous songs and the lyrics and everything like that so people are putting two and two together but people are thinking he was like the almost like how Jeffrey Epstein was like had these parties almost like he had the island and then there's a lot of shady shit that went on in these parties people with their phones and all Obviously. this sort of stuff right so even the when you went to a gaff party, you'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> what's happening in that just, room? Just a gaff party in East End of Glasgow. Like, yeah. what? <laughs> some, you blah. Like, this some, is weird. There's some stories for them, never mind Pete Diddy's parties, man. So, the the conspiracy theory is that the raid that they went in, because you don't need that many guns and armed police to go in to get a guy in his family and in his mansion, so that they were going in to wipe everything. Because there's so many mm. powerful people that has been at these parties mm. that can now be implicated in mm. all this sort of shit. Wild, man. That would make sense. Oh, man. It's only a matter of time before the Illuminati gets exposed. Nah, never will, mate. No, nah, there is. The way, the way we're going with social media and the age information, Do you we've got all these wee YouTube documentary guys that are like, I'll put my life at risk You're just to get... you one step ahead, though, mate. Mm, I don't know. That's Some why creative they're... content. That's why they're at the top. I don't know. I don't know. It's my, it's, I think it's only a matter of time before it's caught. Like, you look at Jeffrey Epstein. Oh, we were speaking about the other day. What was his job? What did he do? How did he make all his money? <laughs> just a guy. Just a guy? Just a cunt. Just a guy who just done what he wanted. Yeah. What was his job? How do you make money? Uh, nobody knows. Nobody it's knows. Mad. But People. even like that, so that's now, that's now at the forefront of everyone's minds. So I'm out of time before the next Did person you see comes out. Fifty Cent is bringing out something with P Diddy. No, I can't even mind what the, there was something. A song? Know. No, no, no. But like, what, have you seen the interviews with Justin Bieber? I've seen all that stuff as well. It's fucking weird, man. No, you can tell Justin Bieber's uncomfortable. I know. Like in the first, I like Tweet JB as well. I know, but then you look at him now and you go, he is fucked. I was always fucked. Like, let's be honest, any kid, like you said, a kid getting into the world <laughs> of fame where money becomes no issue, anything you want in life to an extent you can have, getting that at the age of like 
13, 14, 15, 16. It's going to fuck you up forever because you're, you're not really understanding or you're not really growing as a... Like, think of, imagine being a kid and Don't going, you can buy whatever you want. Uh, there's no craft reward, craft reward. Aye, there's nothing, reward, there's reward, no, reward. no barrier. It's just, uh, you think you're unstoppable until... Mm -hmm. You're unstoppable. I until you're in the news with something stupid that you done. Remember they, they you know, buy a monkey and just let it loose and all that sort of stuff. He's and done then, some shit, uh, he's done wild stuff. And it's no, it doesn't even. It's not that he's a bad guy. It's just like I can only imagine it'd be really hard to parent a kid that gets fame because it is a different life that they're grown into. Mm -hmm. But then you've got all this shit sort of shit that you don't realise it goes on in the background. I like why I don't know if you've seen it. It was like a live stream. There was like a, it was like he, P Daddy's daughters. Pal, and it was like they were all like behind her, and she was just talking to the camera, and it was just weird, mate. Mm. It was just I'm like, now you say all oh, these cunts on fire, man. Like what is happening? I wouldn't go to like my nieces, and like oh us would go. I get your pal in and go on a live stream. Do you know what I mean? I bet Americans are just at a different but, tier of weird. But think about it though. Just think about it. You're like what the fuck? I know, so all I the know. old guys in the background cheering their own. You're I like, know that. What is actually that happening that's here? It's a wee bit creepy. Like uh, mate, they're it's older than us. But they're older a, than us. It's a definitely a generation shift though. Pete I Daddy's feel. fifty. I know, but I think it's a generation shift from the age that they grew up in. Obviously, I think you could get away with more. You could do some shady shit and not get found out about it. Mm -hmm. Whereas us growing up, like we just missed the wave of doing what the fuck you wanted in high school. Whereas now in high school, everybody's got a phone out at a gaff party. Everybody's got a phone out. Aye, aye, aye. Videos are becoming more and more accessible. Imagine phones in the gaffs that you've been in early, that's what early I'm saying, on. Mate, there was some shady shit happened though, the gaffs. Well, that's what I mean though. Like if you, Do you know what I mean? Imagine like, you're the like you look, but I, <clears throat> I didn't really go with that many gaffs, but I knew like people had them, and I was like, man, they were all they're not like there's no there's no security, what there's no security in all no. the places. No. One shady person, mate, and that and about that, like so, something's happening. Do you know what I mean? There's always the you you know, and I know loads of things that have happened to loads of people. Never mind that these big things where the opportunity is endless. I know, I know. It's like I said, it's quite sad, but it'll be interesting to see what happens, what comes out of that. They'll probably kill himself, <coughs> quote unquote, aye. kill himself. Aye, aye, aye. But it's mad that uh, it's, I love a good conspiracy Think theory. Think he did it? P Daddy? Mm. I don't know. I don't know the guy. I like his music. <laughs> That's about it. I don't really like his music anyway. Nah, nah. Bad boys for life. Nah, it's all right. Da, 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 and no, da, it's like it's, a, <laughs> it's pure like mainstream rap. It's like a good tune. Obviously, but I mean, then he, then he's saying like he was to do with uh, two packs murder, Biggie's murder, and all that oh, sort of mate, stuff. Man, I know. opens up a oh man, <clears throat> it's crazy. I was meant who who was meant to have murdered two pack again? Uh, uh, Shug Shug Knight. Aye, that's what it was. That's what it was. Probably did. I know. I, like, I, I, I love the rap game growing up. But now I'm like, what? You're all pedos? <laughs> I know. I thought you used to listen to these. <laughs> Aye. I was well, listening. You're talking about uh, murder and sex and that. It's I like was, sex and means. I was listening to like Chris Brown's old music and see Run It. I loved that song when it came out. I think it was like 2000. Right. 2000. I remember being in Sky. Hey, Chris Brown. I had it on my so MP3. I had it on my MP3 player. Uh, what a fucking what a device they things were. Remember, you loaded it uh, and you yeah, used to yeah, scroll yeah, through uh, the music. Yeah, 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 they were yeah, class. Yeah. Uh, so I don't know. I remember playing run it. So is I was, that where you could put your USB into the computer? Aye, and then uh, you'd yeah. download it. What did it? What is it we had? Oh, what was that thing called? Like the illegal downloader? LimeWire. LimeWire. That's mm. the one. That was class. Aye. So anyway, until it broke your computer. Ah, you know <laughs> why we got those viruses. <laughs> oh, close, close, close. <laughs> Just consistent pop up. Uh, so I was listening to Chris Brown run it the other day, and I think he's about fifteen when he's singing that song. Mate, there's some hangs. And I'm like... listening to the lyrics, and I'm like, what? <laughs> it's like he's talking about being. I can be fifteen and and show you a good time and all that, and I'm like, what fifteen year old is singing that? I know. <laughs> So, see Justin Bieber and Sean Kingston, that Eenie Meenie, Eenie Miney, or whatever the fuck it is, right? See, if you actually listen to that and think what age they are, you go, it's fucking weird. What are they talking about? I know, who wrote this for Aye, them? Who? And it, uh, exactly. Like, exactly. Because <laughs> they don't know what that means. They, oh, I hope they don't know what that means at that age. Nah, that's, you need to grow up fast if you're a kid in that world. Aye, aye, aye. Um, then you do a, a whole Miley Cyrus and just do a 180. It's like, nah, I'm not a wee Disney person anywhere. Just going to go tonto. Aye. She's turned it around to actually be. She just went 180. Aye, a mental. Schizophrenia. Aye, aye. And then she's actually gone, yeah, she's actually quite she's a good singer. Aye, aye, aye. I, I like Chris Brown's music though. So, yeah. 
I know, obviously, you get that, like, obviously. Eh. Oh, I can see why you like Chris Brown. No, no, You're no. a misogynistic prick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, but it happened years ago. I think fucking Rihanna. I think Rihanna's forgave him, so I can forgive him. <laughs> if you can forgive him, I can oh, forgive him. Man. Do you know what I mean? Mate, see. Treading on, on thin ice here, boy. No, he's got some absolute bangers, but. He's got good music. Doesn't make him a good person. No, like, <laughs> right, let's draw the line at the good music. But ah, it's yeah. like Michael Jackson, class music. But hanging away near the balcony. That's very. Uh, he that's was, a wee bit. He, he, he's very suspect yeah. as well. What do you What do you think of the conspiracy theories of <coughs> um, all these people who are supposed to be dead, but they get shipped off to the Antarctic? Antarctica. Nah, you know, believe that? Jane, believe they are dead. I believe they're dead. Like two pack. Why Michael would they Jackson. want to go somewhere to be so isolated and no be part of anything? Well, that's the argument. It's no actual isolation. It's like um, utopia that they've created in our time. That's why you're not allowed up there. Nah. <laughs> no, you're allowed up there. No, you're not. There's areas of uh, Antarctica you're not allowed to go to. Because you would die. I well, maybe that, but like, <laughs> surely it's at, so, at your own risk. And that book, uh, that endure book. Like they talk about how crossing Antarctica is one of like the biggest feats you can do, and basically most people died in it. Yeah, uh, did you see the guy who he was on Joe Rogan and he was talking about? So he get dropped off in a helicopter and he had to go to point A to point B. He was ah, crossing yeah. it. Um, that his whole story on it. It's, it's so. Um, how long does it take? Like sixty, seventy days. I think it was forty six days. If I remember right, days, I might be wrong. No, no, certainly, it. I need to look it up, but um, him just talking about the whole story is just. It's insane, and then the wee clips pop up, man. Honestly, it gives me butterflies in my stomach, and I'm like, oh, I'd do something like that, man. No, no. I, I don't know what it is. I just like see for that. You need that. to take the exact amount of food that's going to get you there. I could have been too heavy. I so it, it was all it, it was all like um, ration bars <coughs> with the right amount of protein, and he says he lost something like thirty pounds of muscle um, because as you're you're just walking every day, and it's aye. not as if it's just little steps. It's like aye, aye. consistent, things. and it's on your ski, your own skis as well. Yeah, but he he has a. He's telling the story about there was another guy that got dropped off at our point and they were they weren't racing but they were kind of there so he was using him as a reference point like I beat keep this going, motherfucker keep going. Uh, well, I beat him aye, aye. and uh, he lost him like thirty days in or something like that I don't think the guy made it did he know I don't know if he I don't think he I don't think he died but I think he had to call aye, yeah, an emergency. Aye. aye that's what I'm saying it's like fucking crazy conditions out there do you know what's a graph no no crossing it. Setting up a tent and putting it down every day, that to me is just too that much is, a hassle. Aye, that is, that is, that, <laughs> that is, actually puts me off. That is, the, aye, but they've got fancy tents, mate. What, the wee pop-ups? Aye, but, and they're also blackout. Hmm. Like, you can't see fuck all, and they're also a wee bit warm. Hmm. Like, have you seen the tents that are pure blackout? The aye, because it, it doesn't like heat exposing. Aye, aye. I, was, I went in one, I was like, it was sunny outside, right? Pitch black inside, and I was like, that is cool. <laughs> You need to get that for your house. No, but my, I've got blackout blinds. I've got blackout curtains. Sorry, I've not got blackout blinds. Blackout blinds are better because they cut out the hang me. Yeah. But this, I was like, whoa, this, I, I can't see anything. So I was saying to Jalen, we've not got any blinds in our bedroom. No? No. Nah. You know why? Because Jalen wants a specific, f- nice interior design one. And I was like, I just, like, the, to be fair, I'm, I'm a good sleeper anyway. Right. But uh, we're going to get eye masks. <laughs> I'm just going to go with it. Eye masks, are, eye masks are good, but I feel, I find, I don't like anything on my face. Claustrophobic. Uh, I, 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 <laughs> I just don't like things like that. I've never slept with an eye mask on. It's like your plugs in that as well, I just can't. Like, I would sleep very well with like, no hearing anything, mm. but having something in my ear, I actually sleep like, I'm like, fucking fuck I off, see when fucking I, See when I was in Vegas, we, Jeff, that was, like, we shared the room together. And he slept with earphones in, and I woke myself up one morning farting, like I'd done a build or and I woke myself up, I was like, when the hell was loud, and I looked down, and I was like, fuck, if I woke him up as well, and he's like, ah. with these wee earphones How'd in, it? I was like, give me them. <laughs> so what, earphones or earplugs? Uh, it was earphones, it was sound, noise cancelling earphones. Right, right. Did I tell you on the way back from Vegas, that, and this is like, I know when I become a parent, this will be... Something I'm a wee bit nervous with, and it's nothing you can control. But taking an infant when you're on holiday and you're flying long haul um, must be one of the most stressful things for a parent. See, as a, a, a guy who doesn't have kids, one of the last things you want to do is sit down and sit next to a wee crying kid, right? right. So I sat down in my seat, <coughs> through the gap in my seat, a wee boy, a wee, Hi, mate. Uh, a wee, si- wee six month old. He's like, ah, and he's poking his fingers, and I was like, 
you know, be patient. It's not like it's just, just a kid. Aye, just it's a just, wane. We're all wanes at one point. Aye. Um, but I'm like listening, try to like I'm falling asleep watching uh, Interstellar. What a fucking great I've film heard that, that is. I've heard that. Um, anyway, try to fall asleep and then I wake up. The kids crying. I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm try to get back to sleep. And I again looked over at Jeff because he was to the right yet, and he's again at earphones. And I was like, I need to get noise cancelling headphones. What? I need to get them. So he's just out all the time? Game over, mate. Uh, he's the jammy bastard had four seats to himself. Uh, so he just lay a, He aye, basically aye. had first class. Aye, aye, that is, that is first class. <laughs> like £600 flights or £400 flights or whatever they were. I had something to say on that story there to pass that. Interstellar? No, 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 the start of that. I cried at that on the plane. Did you? Aye, towards I was like... <laughs> I'm, I'm also in a. I'm a man. I'm in a lad's style doing I'm all that. I'm a hat. man. It's because this was flying out. I so I've actually it. never seen it. I've just heard like how fucking powerful it is. Aye, because it is. It's you know. I love universe. I love space. That's what it's all about. And it's like. I, prefer, I know. I like that. I don't like superheroes and that though. <laughs> it's not a superhero movie. Right, it's good then. But it, it kind of pushes the boundary of what's possible. But right, right, um, right. it does make you think outside the box and how small life is. Aye. But I get to it like the end, and then this is on the way out. So on the way out of a stag do, it was all fucking. Hyped, nobody's sleeping on the plane, everybody's like drinking and that. So I'm watching this and I'm starting to tear up and I'm <laughs> like looking at all the lads around me because they're all talking and stuff like that. And I'm like, I just gotta look away for a mistake. <laughs> look at that fucking I'm like interior. Constantly yawning, like, oh, just pretending, <laughs> oh, my eyes are a wee bit watery. Was everybody watching the same film or could you watch your own stuff? You never been on a long haul flight? Mm, no, not a long Have time. you not? No, no. No, you've got your own wee TV. <coughs> Right, 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 right. <laughs> Do you think I'm choosing Interstellar? <laughs> we have to watch Interstellar. No, I mean, when, I, when I've been on a long flight, it, everybody had to watch the same thing. Oh, the wee TVs that used to come oh, down. Oh, man. Ah, so it did. Mind that. I mean, you. You used to watch the same. You used to put your. <laughs> everybody used to put the things on. I do, forgot do, about do, that. Do, do, do you want hang? Aye, aye. You're like, right, this film's a bit shite. <laughs> aye. Oh, see if it was. It's always a shite film. No, it used to be Shrek in that. Oh, I fucking love Shrek, man. Aye. Uh, right. I don't think that's long haul flights, though. That's like medium flights. I like, like five of our flights. Not. Yeah. I can't even mind that. What's the furthest you've travelled? How far is Tenerife? Is it Tenerife? Certainly like that. Five hours. Three four hours. And a half. Three four hours. Aye, right, it's Air Four. It's Air Four. Is that no yeah. far? No far. Been across that Atlantic. No, yeah. Oh man. Got fucking loads of time, mate. I know. They don't know what's. They don't know what they're so missing out. I, that's what I knew. What I was going to say. So I've been watching reviews and cruise ships. What? I don't know. You've been watching reviews and cruise ships. Or reviews. Aye, aye, this guy, man, like his voice is so soothing. And uh, I love a good documentary. Then uh, I love a good boat, mate. See during uh, lockdown. <laughs> I, I not mate. I just watched this guy review yachts all day. He just like he had so many videos for back in it. I just watched. You visualizing. I, no, no, the future. I, I was just like. This is so cool. This is like I'm like people actually live like this. No, no. But the fucking part. <laughs> but the price of these wee boats. I know it's insane. I mean, there's big boats that are uh, made expensive, but even the wee boats, you're like, what the fuck? I think for it to be classed as a yacht, it's like minimum of one million dollars or one million equivalent. Is and that it, what it is? And the like the size of it can also I, be massively different, mate. So. I don't know, mate, it's so fucking, so strange, right? This is when you know you're going to be bold. I used to, I mean, I used to watch and you used to like go, at least it used to like, so on uh, like any boat or yacht, like you have to take your shoes off and it's all wooden floor. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. Right, so you don't. Wait, you on the cruise ship. No, they? no, you don't wear your shoes on a yacht, right? right? And it used to always like show like the, the wood and I go, why did that wood look so good? Why does <laughs> so it. So clean. Why would I, why would it look like I would sit on a yacht and just feel the wood and just. <laughs> Fuel the wee, the waves. Like, mushrooms while watching this. <laughs> I was like, "What the fuck?" And I used to love it. And then I, I don't know. I was watching this guy review cruises, right. and I go, "I've been on a cruise, and it was all right." But then Virgin are doing cruise ships for adults only. Yeah, adults only cruises. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, "That looks fucking amazing." Does look good, doesn't it? Aye. I'm trying to convince Jillian, but Jillian's in the mind that cruise ships are for just oldies. No, that's no I know. Virgin. I know. I've seen the. I've seen no, the... so he reviewed it, and I was like, "I'd go there myself." Would you be scared on it? No. Why? You're not know, scared of the sea? Nah. Have you seen the pictures of the sea like at night oh. when it's just dark? Oh, aye, aye, aye. There's like, nothing. Whoa. There's <laughs> nothing there. Aye, aye, aye. aye kind of freaks me out a wee bit. Does it? Mm. I've been on a cruise before anyway. Have you? Aye, aye. But I never flew that far to get on it. I think I flew to like, bought me Spain and then we went around the Mediterranean. Uh. I like went to Madeira and all that. 
That's cool. Uh, cruise ships are cool. Yeah. Ian, my client Ian, he goes on cruises every year. Um, so here, I, I know, I know They're that. No cheap. Jill's dad just done it actually just now, and you pay for the cruise, but then they fucking catch you out with like other service charges and that. So see, so obviously if you buy a drinks package, it's um, it's included. Like you don't pay for drinks, but see at the end they total up the amount of drinks that you've had, and then they charge you a service charge of right. for for tips. But you still would tip when you're there as well, and it's like what the fuck. Um, but it's Fucking like bastards. standard, like 20%, I'm sure, 15, 20%. So think about that. If you spend like $1,000 worth of drink, you're 200 quid on extra. Like you need to pay it at the end. What? So your your holiday could be like three grand, let's say. And then when you're checking out, you especially if there's a big group of you, you're like, fuck, you got 200 quid to add on to this. All right, if you're going to go a cruise ship, you go there on the one when he wins. Oh, aye. Like, fuck that. No. I don't have wins for a reason. <laughs> right? I will have one day. I don't have them the new. Uh, so I'm not going on a boat where there's hundreds of wings kicking about. No, I mean, my honeymoon was probably one of the first hotels that I didn't realise how good adults only resorts can mate, be. It'd be so much. And we went in and I was like, so why is it so peaceful here? Aye. It's like, oh fuck, there's no kids. Aye, aye. <laughs> yeah, fucking beauty. Because when I proposed to Jillian in the where Dominican Dominican Republic, we went, but that was just, we went at a random time in um, November. And it must have been like the French school holidays or something like that. And there's tons. There wasn't actually many English speaking there, but it was a few kids and that. And it's not a bad thing because the good thing about the like the hotels that have kids, they always have an entertainment team. And I normally get involved with that sort of stuff. Aye, with the, get, the beach get, volleyball get and all up. that sort of stuff. Uh, but the adults only, that's the only, that's the only thing. It's, you can't beat it. So they said like about that, the Virgin um, cruise ship, like it was quite lively till later on. And like people were quite friendly, and I was like, that actually sounds class. But then you look at the price and you go, ooh. How much is it? I think well, for minimum like, three grand. Aye, per person? Aye, that's what I mean. Aye, certainly, certain, certain like two, two, two point two for like six days or something. Six days? Fucking hell. Aye, it's dear, mate. The only thing I don't like about cruise ships is that you get rooms that don't have windows in them. I think that's too claustrophobic for me. A lot of the ones don't because they're on the, they make sure they're on the outside. No, but you get the ones that are I, down with mm, the, the oh, I don't like that, that man. I don't like that either. Imagine with you the sea in your lap was going on them you upside down. Kind of still want a balcony on a cruise ship. Uh, just for freedom. To get outside. <laughs> just knowing that I can jump off if I want to jump off. <laughs> <laughs> oh woo! <laughs> and uh, have you seen the like the TikTok on the North Sea as well? Uh, that is mental, man. I know. Guys who do that is a is a job's they're Same. hardcore. Aye. They're so you see the guy welding. Aye. He goes underwater. Just. The, the waves come away and he's like, just, just, water back in. Just, 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 Not give a fuck. Aye. How does, how does, I don't know how the weld works either. How the fuck does the weld still work? That's engineering at its finest. <laughs> no idea. I, I know. We're like, ah, but we know. Men nah, the, know. The seas, the seas. Pff, nah, I'm a wee bit freaked out with the sea. Especially when you see how deep it can go. Mate, see, I, I like watching like, like, Stuff where they go to the bottom and you see the mad kind of fish down there. Have you seen them? No, you're like, like, what is that? Have you seen the fish that look like humans and all that? And you're like, ah, what is going on? I'm not going there. <laughs> no. I'm not going They've there. Got cheekbones and a jawline. Oh. <laughs> I don't like fish anyway. No, I, 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 I suppose no, you do. I done snorkeling, man, in Egypt, and there was big fish, and I was like, get me out of here. <laughs> I was like, do not let that touch my. It's foot. The size of me. <laughs> <laughs> no, there was there was a big massive thing, and I was like, what? Why, man? The butter. Get me nah. I was like, I'll look through the hole because it was like a, there was a hole in the floor and you, like glass. Oh right, yeah. You I see, Egypt's the furthest I've been. Aye, I was gonna say when you said that. Where's one destination you'd love to go? I'd love to go to a few places. I'd love to go to like Japan. Yeah. I'd love yeah, to go to Australia. Like that's like main people's main one. Definitely America as well. Like to say that I'd like to go to South America somewhere. Mm. I'd like to like. I mean, I say I'd like to travel, but I don't know how I would because I don't speak the language. The people who I watch who travel... They and your direction and sense of direction is piss poor. What? Your sense of direction and your organisation still is only good enough to travel, mate. I'm building my organisation skills. To br- you need to brush on that. Building my organisation skills. <laughs> you don't need to have organisation skills. You can stay wherever you want now. I don't know, but if you w- know... Where do I stay tonight? And then there's like 500 places around about you. <laughs> no bother. Easy. Have you seen the... Where's the wee guy that you follow? Kurt Kaz. Aye. He goes into them. And there's like hornets and spiders Mate. and beetles in the hotels. You're gonna you're gonna risk that? No, no <laughs> chance. I hate bugs. 
Give me a refund. Don't understand what you're saying. See bugs, mate. Like big bugs. The most disgusting things ever. You scared them? No, I'm not scared of them. I think they're <laughs> not like rotten. You're I scared go, of them. Ugh. Not for me. So, I what 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 would be like the first destination you go to? What what have you got something that you you're gonna save up for just now? Inside the next couple of years. No, but I'd like to go solo holiday. That's what I mean. Like what one? I don't know. I don't know. I was what I was looking at that cruise and I was like, nah, I can't afford that. Well, it's not I can't afford that. Would that would that be worth the money when I could probably go somewhere else mm. and do like a week of travelling somewhere? Do you know what I mean? Or I could go on a cruise ship and pay an ungodly amount of money. Yeah. Like it's probably you're you're you may likely looking at your your ballet and all that where you know there's a lot of UK Scottish, English people there. Oh, I travel the world to get cultured and I uh, where, where's the most UK people? You need to build yourself <laughs> up, man. <laughs> I, think I think Australia would be a good a good one. Aye, one hundred percent. Bali would be cool just for the fitness scene. The thing is, Australia's good because you all speak English. You I watch these play like that Kurt Kazna and it's it, it'd be good to go to their places and explore. But it's only good for him because he speaks the language. Aye. Do you know that way? Because he fucking shit for you, man. Aye, like, if you can't he speak language. You're getting done. Aye. Like, as soon as he starts speaking the language, don't, they don't scam him anymore. Like, I would just get scammed left, right and centre. <laughs> I'd be like, mate, I don't have any more money. <laughs> Aye, not today. Right, today's topic, what do you want to talk about? You're talking new gyms, picking your favourite gym. Aye, so why why the gym environment will matter towards your consistency and progress. Mm -hmm. so, so, new Pure Gym opened up. New Pure Gym opened up. From a business point of view, how's JD taking the... Your gym opening? They're not bored. Huh? They're not bored. Because they were already doing like seven and a half thousand members. Was it? Aye. What? Aye. Seven and a half? So many sleepers, mate. Oh my God. So many sleepers. Seven and a half thousand? They went tw <coughs> <coughs> 25 quid it is now. 25? 200 grand a month. Mm -hmm. 190. So... The thing is, they are, they would like if they lose a thousand, we lose a thousand. That pure gym is not very big, and uh, I know I know somebody who went to the other day, and it, it, this is what brought it on. She was like, I don't, I don't really like it, and I was like, see if you don't like it already, it's no no a great gym for you. Like if you're walking into a gym, what do you not like about it? She didn't like the vibe. She just didn't feel that comfortable. There was no bands. There was no hip thrust pads. Do you know what I mean? Simple things that a lot of gyms have now. Then you have it. Do you know what I mean? And I think that makes quite a difference. Because as soon as you, like, can of your own, like, as soon as a gym's either low equipment, dirty. I mean, it's not going to be dirty. Aye. Like, it's new. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But, like, lack of bands these days, like, every gym should have bands. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Every gym should have maybe one a hip thrust pad. That maybe you need to go up and get at the desk because that's the only thing with hip thrust pads. People fucking steal them all the time. But, is it, do you know how many PTs are working there? No idea. No. I'm going to go and check it out this week. I'm going to go as well, maybe. We'll I've got a free link pass. Link up together, have you? Uh, you're not a fucking tight bastard, you man, ain't you? Ah. It's like a five quid. So I'm sure a membership's only 12 quid, isn't it? Uh, it's 12 quid. <laughs> uh, it's 12 quid. <laughs> nah, I'm not paying that. JD loyal. No, she, she gave me it. She was like, <laughs> I've got a free pass. I'm like, oh, fuck it, I'll take it. Uh, I'll go down as well. <coughs> um, I'm probably going to use that as my, my home gym. Are you? Uh, I like a pure gym. Do you? I like a twenty four seven gym. I no no. I, I prefer a twenty four seven. It's gym only gym. for it's only for accessories that I don't have. Do you know what gets funny though? Right, like where a gym, people go right. We're going to make it twenty four hours so more people come, and people go at the exact same time. Unless people come. Hi. <laughs> don't get me wrong. It's good. It's good for um, different workers and stuff on different shift patterns oh, and all definitely. that sort of stuff. But um, I your gyms get a weird corporate vibe to it. I seen the I, like the see mind you said the boys on TikTok and I was watching it. I was like, why does it look old already? <laughs> why have they built that a standard gym? corporate look? Why? JD done something smart. I don't know what their gyms looked like before, but see the whole no, they, LEDs they didn't and really, they only they only knew two thousand seventeen or something they opened. Is it right? So Aye. so they've done like the right thing, like try to target an audience for. Aesthetic. Looking good aesthetics and then once they've got it right, while copy still, paste, copy I, while paste. still being a corporate gym. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? They are a corporate gym that kinda doesn't look like it, but it, it, it is. It is, it is. So uh, that's the thing. There's like loads of different kinds of gyms and 
there's loads of different things that will make you like a gym or make you dislike a gym. Like, we've got community. So, like, we worked in Gym 24. Mm-hmm. Massive community. Like, I, I can only imagine if you were a straight up member of that gym, you'd really fucking love it. Aye, because everybody talks to each other. Mm-hmm. It's a, they talk to each other. Everybody's like, aye, and that's a good thing about smaller, <coughs> smaller box gyms. I think that's hard to manage. Like, you've probably seen that in JD. It'd be harder to do that in a bigger club. You probably naturally get to speak to the same people at the same times and that sort of stuff, but not to the extent that you can do in Gym 24, for example. No. I'd like to think probably in that pure gym then, it'd be the same. I think they, well, they're quite a small gym, so I can Should. only imagine it's going to be that kind uh, of way. And that, to me, if you're a PT, that pure gym is probably one of the better ones to go to, being your new members come to. And if you've got a wee bit of, a wee bit of gift of the gab around you, you'd fucking, you'd, you'd excel in that gym. Aye. More than any other sort of established pure gym. You get the same members and when a new PT comes in, so oh, a new guy, aye. he doesn't know what he's talking about aye. and then you have to break that barrier. Aye, aye, aye. There's that a lot sort of stuff. barriers to break if you're, if you're a personal trainer in that so, way. So what makes a good gym to you then? So starting with community, like what is, so that's like, every gym's going to get a community. It's mm-hmm. like a wee buzzword. Whatever, aye, whatever it is. What is a good, what's a good one to choose in your opinion? So it really depends what you're looking for in your journey. you got to like, You'll find that out, it's no certain you like pick pick and choose. But some people want to go in and don't want to be spoke to. Do you know what I mean? Some people actually they have a busy job, busy lifestyle, they want to go into the gym yeah. and they don't want them to speak to them. Yeah. So if that's you, then you're looking for a gym with lesser community and less people are going to speak to you. Do you know what I mean? That's why they still have massive amounts of members because you're like, Well, they don't have a community, how how come that works? Because there's a lot of people who don't want to speak to a lot of people. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So there is two types of gyms. There's your small box gym, which are going to have a bigger community. And then there's your big corporate gym, which is going to have a... Cliques. Aye. Aye, you're going to have your cliquey gyms as <laughs> well, man. Fuck. But I was going to say, there's like it's like high school in some of these bigger gyms. Like, you've got different wee groups. And Aye. then um, sometimes there's a wee bit of tension. Sometimes a wee bit of arrogance and a wee bit of to and throwing. But very rarely does it ever amount to anything. No. Like, people just kind of stay in their own wee, their own wee circles with it. What... So, if you're somebody that doesn't wants to get just headphones on, no speak, I guess no kind of interact with anyone. What gyms have you been in the past that can I accommodate more for that? Good for that. So there was that one in uh, Hamilton. That must. Uh, oh, do you know what I'm talking about? Um, the one down the stairs. Aye, I don't think that's still a thing. I don't it's, think it's gone now. Has it gone? Aye, aye. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Usually the gyms that, that, that are good for this won't, won't last long. Aye, aye. Because I, I think if this is something you like to do, ch- what, changing up the gym that gym, you go aye, to aye, is aye. probably the better strategy. Aye, aye, aye. Um, where you do three month blocks at aye, different aye, gyms. Aye, aye. Um, now if that's you, like that's, you're already established and you get no fear of walking through the gym doors and sometimes it can be a wee bit <laughs> nerve wracking going into a different gym, but, um, I used to do that when I lived down in Nottingham, came up here, go to Exercise for Less, I jumped to Pure Gym Motherwell. I jumped to all different ones when I came up just to try different ones. And uh, I felt good. Because you just crack on and you're kind of like, oh, different people. Aye, 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 aye. Oh, there's a different physique I've never seen before. You know, he's strong, blah, aye, blah, blah, you blah. Do, you, But it spurs you on a wee bit more. So if you're somebody that, I, I guess... The main thing you need to look at, like, what is it that you're going to be more consistent with? Now, if you don't like a gym... Fucking move, right? right. Stop, move instantaneously. Like, there's so much choice, right? So you look in Wisher, for example, Gym 24, New Age, the council gym. You then branch out to like Motherwell area. You've got aesthetics, you get pure gym. You then get the smaller box community gym. No community gyms, like like ours, like a studio type gym. Aye. Um, As fun as. Uh, group fitness. And then you go even to Cope Bridge, JD, JP's, New Age again. Pure gym now, and then you've got like JR Fitness, you get another one in Cumbernauld. So many. Loads, mate. In the dynamic of a five mil Loads. radius. There's hundreds to choose from now. So there's a lot, there is a lot to choose from. Aye. Me, I edge towards getting a home set up more than anything. Do you? I, so I, I, don't. I prefer my own space. I think if I had like kids, like that would probably be my go to then. You need it. I think if you're a, if you've got a family, the home gym is the best way because you're no spending time commuting. That's it. That's the that's the only argument. Like, Aye. there is no commute, Aye. so it's a matter of like splitting your work up. 
Aye. work out throughout the day. Aye, you you make um, it, you make it up. A home gym can be something as simple as dumbbells or mm. resistance bands and that sort of stuff. Um, so you you had clients in the past that have not liked the gym that they're going to. Aye. So how's that, co- what's so that I, conversation? Robin told like? me the other day, she was like, cause I was like, here, probably time for you to go online. And she's like, here, look, at see, be fair, class, because I'm no enjoying JD. Right. And I was like, here, same, I'm, I'm changing where I train as well. Like, I won't be training in here either, just no enjoying it anymore. I could be boredom, but I don't think it is. I think it's just that, like, I'm I'm wanting to get right back into it again. Mm-hmm. And that's not the environment for me. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Because there's no, it's, the one thing that I like about a jet, like, Everybody's at different parts of your journey. So I can get different parts of your journey. Different gyms are going to be the better place for you. Right. Do you know what I mean? If you go into like a big gym like that, there's so many <coughs> different types of people that you're not going to feel as on edge if you're brand new to the gym. Because if you really looked about, you go, that person's quite new, that person's quite new, that person's quite new. There's loads of cardio equipment. There's loads of machine that are a little bit easier to use. There's loads of class environment. There's loads of people in a similar position to you mm-hmm. if you're new to the gym. So that's why the gyms are really good. Now, I don't think they're the best for helping you out to a degree because there's too many people. Yeah. But they're still good for, because you're, if you do want to get into the class environment, there's loads of people there. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? There's fucking hundreds of people there. So where are you, where are you going? I'm going to train at JPs. JPs. And in here. Go. Do you know what I mean? And, eh... Uh, why? Just to get no distractions? No distractions, aye. Mm. Aye. I don't really want any. I, 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 I'm I'm a PT, speaks to people all the time. When I'm in the gym, I don't want to speak to them. Yeah. It's pissing me off. Which is funny because I've got a handful of clients who actually need that social interaction aye, aye, and they get saying. it from the gym. So aye, it's aye, like aye. picking and choosing. It is, it is. So if you're like, as I said, like you need to find what works for you. You might, like I used to... When I used to do my old job, I used to love going into the gym and speaking to people. I used to go, this is me time, I love this. And then you're like, oh, this would be class to do as a job. And aye. you're like, right, this is still good, but I need a bit of downtime. Aye, aye, I need <laughs> me time. I think that's maybe why go. I like my own space. Aye, that would that's, be. that's like quiet time. This is me time. Because I'm speaking to people all, of, aye. all day, every day. And these days, like after working in Gym 24, cleanliness is a massive thing to people. It's not that big to me. No? Nah. No. Nah. Like when I'm training... I'm not really that bothered about the cleanliness. Oh, and the dirt and the grease in my like, hands. Like, I, I don't give a fuck, mate. Right. I don't care that much. Do you think everyone does? No, they do, they do. Especially this day and age. Right. So, that Will Tennyson, he put up a video. Going to one exactly. star rated review gyms. Right. You know, he's a big guy. He's like, he's on YouTube. He's like Jesse James West kind of guy. Got you, got you. Right? And he was going about the gyms and he was like, right, let's see. Like, the reviews were saying, I'm going to check them all off and see what they say. And like a lot of them were like talking about the cleanliness, right? And the second gym was pure mock it. Was it? And he was like, look, he's like, you know what? This place has mock it. It's pure old. But it's got like this rustic vibe to it. Spitting sawdust gyms. Ah, it's a spitting sawdust gym. Aye. And he's like, you can tell the people in here love this place. Mm. It's like, no, they could they come here because they love it. <laughs> Don't clean that bar. Aye. I, that uh, gives me a weird grit. Aye, aye. <laughs> Shit like that. Don't need chalk. People fucking love that. Yeah. So if you think a gym is no clean enough, you can definitely find the gym that is clean enough. And if you don't give a fuck about that kind of thing, there's other gyms for you. And the good thing about this day and age is, as you said, the market will there's dictate. so fucking many. Do you know <coughs> what I mean? If you've got a problem with a gym, there's probably a gym that doesn't have that problem. So find it. So change it up. Aye, find aye. it. You got, <coughs> you got, the market will dictate, but I think that's why you'll see more gyms put effort into cleaning that. No, they are, they, they are. are. They are. But I think um, Future Fitness, <coughs> you've been there yet? Is future that Fitness in Glasgow? No, but I've heard it. Have one of one of the the best gyms in our country, and I know a few people went there and said like, "It's a wee bit dirty," Aye. but it just shows you like that's like I think that's like the the home of bodybuilding mm-hmm. uh, in there. Uh, Ross Irvin's gym looks like it's going to be a good a good place. He's getting all the unique and wonderful machines that you can go. Aye, aye. And again, as a as an avid avid gym goer, it'll be something that I try out. Aye. I think you see a lot of people drive over to G- JPs. Aye. For that reason, aye. Um, so, aye, it's, it's just it's just a matter of finding. I think everybody can do well with a pure gym, uh, a standard copper one, where you know, no matter where you go, that's the, that's the one good thing. Like you might be travelling a lot of time for work. Do you know? No matter which one you go to, the setups more or less the and same. You're always going to be at you, aye, aye. and you and you have access to it. Um, but I think that will have a shelf life at, at some point where you're maybe looking for a wee bit more. But mm-hmm. here, it done me well. 
mm-hmm. done me well. That was all I trained at when I was going through my journey, me working out. But then I bought a David Lloyd's membership to get a wee bit more experience, a wee bit <coughs> more of that luxury know, vibe. Luxury vibe. Uh, and I'll tell you, man, I'm actually tempted it? to buy the one in Hamilton. Was it worth it? Mm-hmm. Why is it? It's just nice because they've got. See if I'm an online coach, definitely. Aye, because you can go and sit, work, They've train. got the, the, the coffee set, they've got the wee, like, Starbucks equivalent set up, nice pool sauna, and then you get your gym, and the gym's half decent. Aye. Like, it's no, it's not the best, it's not the worst, it's just it's good, it's, it's right, right, it's right for what you need. That is a fucking job. Um, and, weirdly enough, less people will go to that because of the price, mm-hmm. which I think is, it's a bit mad. Uh, mate, see when when it comes to pricing the gyms, man, people just don't understand. It's insane. What's the difference? Like people go, I'm not paying fifty quid for a gym. You pay twenty. It's thirty quid more. Mm-hmm. Like do the math on that. Let's say you average three sessions a week. But let's say you, you average. I fucking really like this. <laughs> aye. Do you know what I mean? I know. I know. What are you what spending do, on pints? Aye. Aye. You're, like a round how, will be how, more expensive how than easy your monthly is it membership. Thirty quid. I know. And how easy is it to make yourself feel better. Uh, it's it, the psychology of gym memberships is crazy, mm-hmm. but weirdly enough, sleeper members, man, that that's a bit worrying. Like how many sleeper members there actually is. Mm-hmm. Do you do anything with them? Uh, so, <clears throat> like they have their call systems and that they'll do they will do things. Like that. I think if it's over a month, they maybe give them a call. Oh, really? Well, I was classed as a sleeper member because I used call to have, no, but when they then. When they did call me, when you and I cancelled my direct debit, they're like, aye, aye. "Oh, wait, did you accidentally? No, I didn't accidentally. I'm leaving you. Aye. You've served your purpose. Uh, but I, like twenty quid is inexpensive. Thirty quid is inexpensive. Look, a hundred quid is still inexpensive for a for a gym membership. Um, my dream is to open a a David Lloyd gym, like a competitive private gym in that market. Mm-hmm. You get competitive. Um, Smaller box gyms like JP's, Gym 24. What else is there? Then you've got like your your studios that do like group classes and group training and all that sort of stuff. Um, Bang is a huge market for a private um, higher tier gym. Dang. I just love to own one. Good. Get it. It's like, but you're talking. <laughs> it's heavy, mate. It's heavy. It's something like two million. I think I would is need. That what it is? Uh, so I need to like to raise two million pounds, find a unit big enough with a good car park, and then. I you need to make it tie, tie. I'd wanted to have like um, five side footballs at it, uh, swimming obviously, steam, and then a good, um, a good gym, and then a good wee cafe. But see, a big thing for me is the equipment. Yeah. And when JD first opened, the the barbells and the dumbbells and the the, the machines were new, so they were they were good. No. Like the barbells are getting that kind of way where they're getting a wee bit older. Like are they people, worn? Are they? Mm, no, too worn, but like everything's getting that way where people just fuck it about. <laughs> you know what I mean? No not, care in the world. They this do is the thing. not give a fuck, mate. It's mad, isn't it? You paid what, 20 quid, so you're paying maybe £2 a day. Aye. Like a day that you're in the gym, Aye. right? So you average your, your sessions a pound fifty to two pound and then you treat it like shit. Aye. And then you turn around and say, This place is shit, it's too busy, this, that. Mm-hmm. It's like, Paying twenty quid, mate. Aye. Fucking shut up. I know. And there's, move, a, there's a move sauna. Aye. I know. Got a sauna and everything. I, I I just think it's a race to the bottom with corporate chains. Like pure gym, twelve quid. Uh, mate, I don't even twelve know. pounds for a gym membership is insane. I don't know how they charge that. They're relying on sleeper members. I don't care, right? So if you're listening to this, you need to understand that <coughs> most gyms' models is for you to sign up to a monthly membership and not go. Mm-hmm. That I don't care how you cut it. That is most gyms' business models. That's how they profit. A gym does not profit if all their members are going to the gym. Speaking on that, did you hear about Planet Fitness? Oh, aye, they get shafted, didn't they? Aye, um, they lost four hundred million pounds in stock. What was it because of their? Because they said something about trans. Aye, because aye, which is mad because they are. I don't know exactly what they said, so I'm not going to get it. But their demographic is probably geared towards them because it's. Not lifting heavy, aye. no screaming, so it's probably more. No saying that that's. I just try to be times. politically correct. Aye, and then, then the, and people have went fucked themselves over. Aye, mad when you get into the big boy leagues. Mm-hmm. You need to be careful. Same with Disney. Disney fucked it as well. Did they? Did they? Uh, they pushed the movement 
too much oh, right, that right. their stocks dropped. I can't remember how much it was, but aye, aye. Um, they were trying to be so diverse and try to please everybody, but it's like they're doing wild shit. That's not also, if you look <laughs> at a gym, like whatever person you are, like pure gym, JD is meant to fit a big demographic. Uh, wide, There'll uh, be a probably a smaller gym where you'll fit in better. Yeah, so um, let's talk about like different. Like you've got CrossFit gyms. Aye, so you've got CrossFit, you've got powerlifting, you've got bodybuilding, you've got calisthenics, you get now the high, ro- high Rocks hybrid. All of those five, the only the only ones that, I guess they can all work out in your pure gyms and your JDs and all that sort of stuff. But, but you'll never feel that pure pleasure, I don't think. Nah. What you're trying to get with it Do you know what I mean? And it also starts pissing off other members See when there's a big uh, calisthenics group They go into JD aye, aye. But it's class that they're I, I actually seen a guy And he was getting He was coaching his pal To get his first pull up And I was like And then they were all cheering And yelling And I was like That's class But but there's ten of you Hurdling round here And you're sitting on the grass And I'm trying to use a sled drive mm-hmm. Fuck off And fucking aye. small groups I think in corporate gyms So you see a rule They should actually bring in Is no groups bigger than three. Yeah. I think if you've got four people in your circle, split off into two and two. Because it doesn't make sense. Remember in gym 24? Five boys hurdling around the bench. It's like, boys, come on to the fuck. I've seen Will's video, right? One of the reviews was, um, always packs a wee guy around about the benches. <laughs> and he's like, I wonder if we can find that, right? And he's on the bench and he's like, there's a wee guy's behind this. <laughs> right? And there was just that, I, like it was like two o'clock in the day. It wasn't even after school, was it? and it was like this. Gy- this gym was just known for all the wee guys to go because it was cheap. Aye. Do you know what I mean? So all the wee guys would just go together whenever they could. Aye. And there's nothing worse. There is nothing worse. No, there's not. Especially no. for women, mate. I know, I because it's, it's well off point because they're rowdy, they're loud, they're no doing what they're supposed to be doing. And look, I think you need to go through it. You need to kind oh, of do your thing. Need but to go, fuck this. They need to be filtered into the council gyms. Oh, yeah, I yeah, think yeah, that's yeah. really where they should be going first because the council's about community. Um, but that's the thing with council gyms, that rather than so you've got it's um, free for older people, but it's also free for younger people. Two people who don't want to train together. <laughs> do like, you know what I mean? These are wee pricks. These are all pricks. That is that they do not want to train each other. That is the last place the two of them want that to be. That is true. That is true. I, I don't know. I, I thought it was bizarre that um, like Manny liked the the younger crowd coming in. He liked them. Um, he he liked pushing the. Like, cause there is a there's a younger demographic in gym twenty four, like straight after that school time, but pff, that's one way to piss off most of your members. Oh, that is, that is, that is. And like, it's class getting young. Like we said, it's class getting younger folk into lifting weights, but you're wee dicks. Uh, you can be <laughs> wee absolutely. I dicks. was a wee dick when I started. I think there'll be a lot of wee dicks in pure gym. Oh really? Because it's cheap. Mm, true. Do you know what I mean? Like that's if you look at the price of a gym. And you look at the demographic that's going to go into a gym. Is somebody going to take care of the gym who pays twelve pound? Do you know what I mean? Are they going to? As most of the demographics are coming in, are they going to take care of the gym? So then you kind of complain when the gym gets dirty, when the gym gets this. You're paying twelve quid, and so is the other person beside you. Do you think there is a thing as the perfect gym for a person? Maybe. I think it just depends on what you're no looking for. No, for everybody. Mm. But for a person, there'll be a gym where they go, like they fit in. They like most things about it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I think, like, Ultra Flex and is that it's the perfect gym for a bodybuilder? Where's that? Like, they've got one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, and that. Do you know what I mean? Like, they've created the perfect gym for that kind of environment. Limitless and Cumbernauld. Things like that. Do you know what I mean? Like, they've went, right, what's your demographic, right? Bodybuilders. With the bodybuilders, like, this, this, this. We've got to have this, this, this. Mm. We're also going to have good machines. We're also going to keep it clean. And we're also going to have it 24 7. That's what most gyms need to have these days. Yeah. Like, I think if a gym is no 24-7, they're really struggling. The thing is, see gyms as well, like, there's a big misconception that, all right, you're just buying a bit of kit, or oh, if I had 100 members paying X, then, fucking hell, there's three and a half grand at 35 quid. It's all the maintenance. Ah, it, uh, it's nothing. Like, when you look at, factor in your rent, your electricity, your business rates, you've got your stock, your equipment, your upkeep, cleaning fees, um, just general buying toilet roll and cleaning supplies as well. It's fucking people will never understand how much it costs to run a gym because of the price that some people charge for a gym. That's what I don't get. Like if it's going to, and this is where the sad thing that's going to come out of this. If we don't, I honestly think yes, pure gyms and JDs are great for you fi- figuring out your gym journey. 
But I think if you pivot, the best thing you can do is pivot to like a local community gym. Mm-hmm. Um, and as long as they are committed to helping, ha- actually helping you and having the best gym to support you through that journey, you'll see it grow and evolve. And they're the best gyms to support, like Aye. your gym 24s, like your even, I guess, even new age to an extent, as much as that's kind of became a bit of a corporate model with Wisha. New, um, I, I, don't, I, Bridge don't, in Hamilton, but I think if they expanded more they'd be corporate but I think they're still I think they all they all work together aye, the new, true, true. do you know what aye. I mean you see them doing some community stuff and all that sort of stuff but um, aye, the best thing you do is pivot and go into one of these because these corporate models are only going to become cheaper and cheaper and cheaper like 20 quid for a membership and man. the quality can only go down it can go up no but this is the thing they've got the money to spend because you put the quality, they can buy. So aye, they no, fit out for that JD gym must have been a, a few million quid. Aye, but you also got to look at the equipment they're buying in is no the best. Hmm. They've got contracts with whoever they've got them with. Like Matrix Life Fitness. Ah, aye. No, no, even Life Fitness, mate. Whoa. <laughs> no, they, they don't. It have. used to be Life Fitness. Where? Um, Pure Gym. Pure Gym used to have Life Fitness. Did it? Aye. Back in the day. Well, it's quite expensive stuff. I know, I know. No, 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 no. Matrix, for some reason, is, like, the, the go-to for them. Techno gym. Techno gym, aye. So, techno gym's, like, it's got, like, a good feel about it, though. Like, it's got a expensive feel about it. I think techno gym is the most expensive cat. What would you... So, would you ever set up your own gym? No. No? Nah? No, nah, no, I've just seen... <laughs> Everybody's like, fuck that. No, nah, I just... I just don't see any benefit in it. Aye. Do you know what I mean? So, if you had to build your dream gym, what's in it? Oh, my dream gym? Aye. Oh, no, no, I, I've got a dream gym. Right, so what would talk us through? What would it be? So I know a, a quality d- dream gym, just for me. Just like, for you? Just mine. Just yours. All right, so what have we got? So we've obviously got your dumbbells, right? right they can go away. Constant dancers up the back. Oh, <laughs> 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 ah, there'd be a lot more. Aye, big speaker system. Aye. Big speaker system. Because you'd want to like pure D- I want a DJ in there twenty four seven playing yeah, hard style. When you're fucking training, man, you need to have the tunes pumping. See, would you have a live DJ in your in your no, gym? No, no, because no, I'd play tunes. I am the DJ. Right, okay, okay. I right. am the DJ, right? Do you get me? Right. So dumbbells and all that, right? That's a given, right? But right, right. So what's the what's the uniqueness of your? You gym? have to have a quality squat rack, like quality quality barbells, hmm. right? Quality plates. I mean, don't get me wrong, I will probably won't ever be able to afford the shit that I want to, because yeah. that shit's dear. Like calibrated plates? Calibrated plates, the the, the, the bars are like 400, 500 quid. All oh, right, uh-huh. Right? Do you know what I mean? Like, that, the bar that I would want, like, if I had to look at it every day, I'd, I'd actually just go, wow, <laughs> I've got this bar. This such a good bar. I no, no. That's Cress, it. isn't it? Oh, man. So, like, see New Age Fitness and Wisher? Mm-hmm. They have two really good bars. What did they? Oh, mate. What, like, is it, Alico? Alico mm-hmm. uh, Power Bars. And like the difference in them is insane. And they you squat, you don't squat with them, do you? Aye, aye, aye. Do you? aye, aye. I thought power bars were just for no power oh, bars. It's a deadlift bar. Aye, aye, it's a deadlift bar. No, don't, they don't have deadlift bars, but they weren't the top of the range ones, but they were like medium range, and you could feel the difference. Mm. Like, and you, they just looked good. And I was like, wow, man, this is sexy. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm like, this is fucking hot. Do a barbell could turn you on, man. And, oh, no, it can, it can. And then obviously, the JPs get the calibrated plates and they're yeah. nice. Don't get me wrong, they're hard to put on enough. Aye. So you've got to have the, the barbell jack. Like, no, the wee one, up, the big aye. one. Aye. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about? Aye, so you can slide it on. Like, I built it a deadlift platform. Like, a really nice one. Do you know what I mean? A Lico one. A Lico stuff. What would you have ingrained in it? Yet? Would you have it custom branded? Aye, aye, aye. What would you have your quote? Kaizen. Oh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it'd just be like, uh, no, you wouldn't have James McGinty. I don't know what you would have to be fair. Something. Don't be a bitch. Aye, don't be a fucking gimp. Don't be a gimp. <laughs> yeah, it'd be a Lico squat rack, actually, think about it. A Lico bars, like them, a Lico yeah. squat rack, a Lico power plates, a Lico bumper plates as well. Mm. Uh, oh, man, that'd be fuck <laughs> it. I don't even need them, yeah. You know what That's I mean? it? No, no, I would, I would have what's more. That, what's that, like, what's the handful of dream machines or resistance? Got to have a leg extension. Right. Um, Been the best one you've used. A leg extension. I used one in Vegas, man. I, I don't. I didn't have a brand on it, but my fuck me, man, it felt good. good. I don't know if it's because I've not done leg extension ages. I don't so know, the, but the worst leg extension is definitely what the Matrix ones. They're shit. <laughs> oh, is it? Are they crap? Are they? <laughs> I don't know what it is. I'm just like your day. Your knees don't feel perfect at the end. Nah. Do you know what I mean? It feels like there's you're, you're struggling. One in gym twenty four right was joint. really good. I what the was one that? I jumped out of four was, was good. That, that was a life fitness. Life fitness. That was a good one. Uh, that was a really good one. I like that one. 
Um, you've got to have probably you've got to have a cable machine. No, mm-hmm. dual cables. Dual cables. You need too much, and you get that. So much. You get the one that you're Bad. talking about. Aye. Or a free, uh, free, free range. Aye, so you can get the big bit, so you can do loads of it. Obviously, you've got a bench, right? You get dumbbells, you get the big sexy. It's the squat rack. This is the best. Bit, <laughs> right? Keep coming back to the squat rack and that barbell. Plates, mm. oh, that barbell, man. It's the barbell. <laughs> I would have, I would have a few barbells. I would have like the cambered barbell. I'd have a can. I've had my Monday barbell, my Tuesday <laughs> barbell, <laughs> my, my Wednesday, barbells. and then my oh. Friday barbell. Oh, oh my god, she's Did getting you see it. Jesse James West battle his aye, home gym. Aye. I didn't think it was that good. To be fair, nah. I thought it. Was, I thought it'd be better. Aye, I thought it'd be. I don't know why about the Matrix, mate. I know. Probably cost. Aye. They probably gave doesn't matter how much money you're making. You're still gonna be a bit. Uh, they probably gave my bill to a deal. Aye. Like you, you, you pick us for the video. We'll fucking. I know. So, I would like some form of. I would like a good hack squat or a good leg press. One or the other. Don't really. What would you pick then? So, would you pick leg press or hack squat if you had to pick one for the rest of your life? Hack squat. You would pick hack squat, would you? Aye, over a leg press, aye. Mm. If you could only pick one or two, mm-hmm. hack squat. Because you get your squat movement, do you yeah. know what I mean? I thought I don't know why I thought you would have done leg press more. You're a big leg press guy when I first met you in Jump Twenty Four. I, I like a leg press. That did build my quads. Yeah. It did. It did. Um, I'll probably get them back in it, like to restart my program mm-hmm. to make sure I get some a leg movement in before I go back to full full heavy squatting. Um, I think you need in your home gym like a pec deck. Oh really? Aye. Are you? Aye. You get your cables, though. Aye, true, true. You do, you do. If you've got a really good cable machine, what would you have in then? Ah, like, because I'm, I'm not an upper body guy, mate. So you, you pick the upper body stuff. Because <laughs> I've got the hack squat, I've got the leg extension, and I've got the barbells and dumbbells and the dual cables. That's what I mean. I like, genuinely think if they were that, good, qu- that's all I need. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. I, I, when I look at machines, the machines that I'm looking at, don't get me wrong, I like that T bar row setup that's at uh, JD. So something some variation of that. I don't know what the best aye, one is. For, so that's so that's class. Aye, aye, one of that's a really good one. 100%. Um just feels smooth and feels nice. Fuck and man, you, uh, it feels you, beautiful. Yeah, a good movement. It's a good uh, strength curve on it. I think that's it. I uh, chest supported T bar row, definitely. I don't even like the chest machines. I don't like the the everyone talks about that one at JP's. Aye. The Nautilus, Nautilus, is it Nautilus one? Aye. You used it? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why Why everybody's like, like I seen it on that Ross's story saying that it's a shame they don't make these anymore. Aye, aye, aye. Um, aye. And I was like, that. it doesn't look anything special other than a, a press. Maybe the way the elbow's stuck I in I think that. it's just because of the way it goes. Squeeze. I think it just goes really well with like how a dumbbell would go. I never liked any of the Hammerstein stuff in Gym 24. No, I didn't. Never a fan of that. I think the Hammerstein, I don't, I didn't think it was good either. No, that was just my preference, but Everybody loved the shoulder, inclined shoulder thing. I know. I was like, it's a shite. Aye, that's what I thought. <laughs> I'd rather just do overhead press. See, I'm the same. I'm the same. Yeah. I don't get much joy for sitting in a machine. We'd have the most boring gym. I mean, I, that, that's why this isn't a gym, because it's only squat <laughs> <that's racks. it. laughs> Sled so drive, I'd have a good sled drive. I'd have a hamstring, good grass. a curl. Hmm. I'd have a CD hamstring curl. Because like, it's just a fucking heavy weight yeah, It feels good. Aye. Aye. That's it. That's it. That's all. Jen, I don't think I'll have any more. But don't get me wrong. What I did have would be absolutely gorgeous. It would. It'd be fucking gorgeous. The dumbbells would be gorgeous. The <laughs> mate. The that's, colours. Would that's you the go? kind of shit that I love. But it costs so much fucking what money. Colours. Would you just go all black? I'd go all black. Aye. It's got to be all black, mate. Like that's why when it, you were hanging, you were saying white and black in here. I was like, no, go all black, mate. <laughs> go all black. <laughs> just go for it. Nah, it's good. It's good. Well, thank you. If you're trying to pick a gym, hopefully you get a wee bit more insight in what to do. But I think if you if you want to break this down, like really simple, give a gym. I wouldn't even like your your clients kind of judge the gym just starting open and on their first experience. I'd give it a couple of months. Oh, I think, I think um, try it's it. like anything. You don't want to write something off just because you have had one bad experience. But if it keep happening, I tell you one thing that makes all of these gyms definitely the people who work there. Uh, I don't think gyms truly realise the difference. Of having good, good PTs and PTs who don't give a shit. Like you can, you notice it straight away. You're like, I'm not going there. People you are go to different JDs and it'd be completely different. Yeah, yeah. That's the one thing that's mad about the corporate scene. You've all got a structure that you need to follow, but 
it's the human interaction that really shapes and it's makes like it I used to eat bad. McDonald's, right? I used to go to the one Hamilton and I used to think it was the worst McDonald's on the planet. I used to go to one Bell Cellar and I go, why is it so much better in here? So I slam each other with the patties. <laughs> <laughs> but like, I just don't know, man. Like, just one cared more than another. Yeah. Exact same food, exact same model, completely different. Yeah. And I think if, what would you say for new, like, if you are moving to a new gym, that's probably one of the the more nerve wracking experience, no matter what your experience is. Because even for me to go into pure gym, I know I'll be like, oh, oh. But I know, then, I'm going to be saying uh, when I go to JP's and pure gym, I'm going to be like, fuck, man. Yeah. So, but. Like you just need to you need to get confident. A nice wee rule of thumb when it comes to a routine of what to do in there. Straight to the treadmills, walk and assess, scan, where is everything. Now if you're if the treadmills are on a different floor, which they are in some gyms, uh, you just need to kinda of walk about and look ah, at yeah, look can... a wee bit lost, but at the end of the day it's just but like walk towards the dumbbells, you know you can do something with the dumbbells. Pick 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 pick, pick an exercise, free. say I'm going to do lateral raises, sit on the bench. And I'm just I start assessing and start figuring out, and then your next one, your next, your next couple of sessions after that, you start to go fucking hell. I didn't notice that machine the first time, and play about with it, and then you start becoming ingrained into that community, and then you decide if that one's the right fit for you. Aye. Um, but I think if you've never moved gyms, one of the best things you can do is actually move gym to experience if you're in a good place or mm. you're ready for some change. Aye. Um, Aye. So I actually remember a lot of members in Gym 24 used to cycle and go away come and actually come back going, I didn't realise how good it was here and it's like fucking class. That's good. good. Uh, it's a good I thing. Know, I remember that. Um, and likelihood, like some people's like, like, I'm just, I'm talking to too many people in here. I need to focus on my training. So they'd move away. And then once that happened in the other gym, they'd move back. So aye, 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 aye. Just need to just figure out what's right for you. For me, I like, I like the convenience of training first thing in the morning. So 24 hour gyms are always going to be a place that I can aim for and that's what I want to do with the David Lloyd mod like my, my dream gym I'd have a big box gym like that but run it 24 hours right it'd be quite class think you can keep that up to date for 24 hours like keep it at the level it's at uh, there's things you can do like I've got ideas in my head <laughs> <laughs> no it's just that, that's the one thing I was thinking like keeping the clearness up through the full time yeah there. it'd be harder it'd be harder for sure but I think there's, there's, there's ways around it. Um, but they do it like, so there's some amazing gyms in America. See, like, oh, mate, they're life fitness, I think, is one. Oh, no, is it lifestyle fitness? It's like a massive box and it's like $200 a month. But you can play basketball, you can play tennis, you can play football. It's so many different. But I like uh, Alpha Land. Look what he's done with it. Like, that just looks insane. Um, I'd love to have one of them, but it doesn't fit in Scotland. No, no we <laughs> don't be, have that. It'd be community. cool. It'd be we cool if it did, but um, I too many people are moaning about fifteen quid mem- membership, so <laughs> it's not going to work. Me and also that Alpha Land won't be clean. It is clean as hang me. Too big. Aye, it's almost too big. Aye, I had to employ the staff to oh, support man. it. Aye, you walk in, you go, is this it? But then you have the feel. Aye, you have. Aye. it's like uh, Bradley Martin's gym. What you done with zoo, aye, zoo culture? Yeah, exactly. He's like he's got all the influencers in there. Aye. Just mental. Right, let's wrap things up there. Thank you for tuning in to today's episode. You know what to do if you're new around here. We release episodes every Monday and Thursday. Sometimes we do Q&A episodes, so make sure you're following us on Instagram. You can find me at Coach Crosser. You can find me at Jim McGinty PT. And you can find the joint Bulletproof Mindset page at Bulletproof Mindset underscore underscore. The links for them are in the show notes. Uh, and until next time, have a nice day.